All right, let's knock out a quick, quick two haul. In front of you, you got this, uh, what was it? Eight piece. piece. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought I read eight piece and I was there <laughs> frantically looking for eight. But it's going to be the Mayhew screwdrivers with the striking cap. Um, so yeah, you get uh, five, five of these uh, Phillips and five flat or pry bars as people want to call them. The different sizes and the associated lengths has a block black oxide tip for improved grip hex bolster for use with a wrench that's that right there the hex on it um and a extended blade forged with a cap in for striking so um we'll take them out real quick so this is what you get I'm definitely not uh, lacking on screwdrivers of any sorts, but this would be the only complete set I have that is completely striking. It has a striking cap. I believe I only have one striking screwdriver, which to be honest, I've never really had a need to use a tap on a screwdriver, uh, except for maybe the vessel uh, number three, taking out rotor, rotor screws. And I, have, I now have a different tool for that, so. Uh, Pretty nice feel, fit, finish. Uh, has a Mayhew Select on the handles. You got this uh, little rubber piece right here. You got a part number right there with the associated size and it reminds you to wear safety goggles. Block oxide tip. I'm not sure if these are magnetic or not. Doesn't look like they're magnetic. magnetic. Uh, comes in this tray that it's not gonna last long. When I was taking out the stapler, I already realized it has a. Uh, it's already cracked. So, but anyway, I mean, they're good for display. Uh, but yeah, really nice finish. I like the fact that all of them has uh, this hex on it. Again, I've never put a wrench on a screwdriver. Um, the smaller ones smaller flat and the smaller Phillips head um, they don't have the shank on it for obvious reason you don't need a torque on them uh, but they're there uh, I do like the fact that they all have like a part number so if you need to replace them it looks like it's individual part numbers yeah it's individual part numbers so if you need to replace them or you, you lose them for whatever reason you can yeah replace them but got this set, um, I do like this number three. And off note, unlike like the Vessel or I believe Craftsman, some people will say. Let's see if I can get this to focus. It doesn't have the groove in there and the tip to like uh, dig into the, the screws, especially if they're stripping out. Um, yeah, got that set, pretty nice. Like I said, definitely not short on screwdrivers, but it's the first comprehensive set of striking cap screwdrivers I have. So I decided to pick them up. Plus it's Mayhew, it's a company that I feel like you can't go wrong with. Screwdrivers, pry bars. With that set um, came these two uh, Caspo, again, Mayhew. This is a pick set, four piece pick set. You can see the different angles they have, the hook, whatever. It is. And maybe you can see it on the back better. Straight, 90, kind of 45, and then a curve right there. Um, not gonna pull this out because they're gonna be packed up anyway for my move here. And then you got the seal, this o ring um, steel remover here. Supposedly it was free. And then you get a little miniature, let's see, miniature 
pry bar on a key ring. I honestly don't put stuff on my key ring. I, I get annoyed when I have, I pick up a set of keys and it's like, it has everything on there. It has every, everything on there. Especially my wife's, I absolutely hate using her set of keys. Anyway, that was all one, one package deal. It was about 80 bucks or something for all of this. Supposedly these, these three items were thrown in for free, but I subsequently saw this for the screwdrivers were about 50 and then all of this was 80. So nothing is really free, but it, it's, I have a OEM set of picks, um, our seal removers there. And uh, I have some of these smaller picks, but you know, here's what it is. Uh, no piccolo order. You got this uh, light and carry Cobb LED work light, rechargeable. Um, max of 500 lumen, four hour run time, USB rechargeable lithium battery. That's what it looks like. Splash resistance, 60 lumen, 500 lumen max. Uh, yeah. So I do have, I believe they, they make a set of four of these, like 200, 300, 500, and 800. So I have the 800 and I use that one. That's one of my, my favorite flashlight. Um, so it comes with uh, these red chargers, a little brick. Um, you got a hook on the back that kind of clips in place out of the way. And you got your power on the back here, pretty bright, pretty bright. You got LED indicators on the back, um, just a power button that cycles through the different modes. Um, the light there, pretty robust. Um, pretty robust feel. Like, it's not something that if you drop it, I'm gonna worry about breaking it right away. I'm not sure if this will hold up, but pretty nice feel. Um, this handle is, feels kind of sloppy. I think it's similar to the next one in case it's, uh, you can move it. In fact, I'll show you right now. You can, uh, you can prop it up however you want it or whatever angle. It's uh, magnetic, so we have some stuff here. We'll magnetize to it. Obviously, it's not gonna hold it up right now, but it's magnetic. Uh, so that's good. You can place it wherever you want on the vehicle. Uh, like I've used the larger one, the 800 lumen one on like, you know, suspension parts and stuff and just stick it there and it just stays there and it's like amazingly bright. You got your rechargeable port right there. And this one looks like, this one looks like it's jacked up. You got a little slide um, cover. And yeah, my, uh, my USB port there looks like it's kinda, it's kinda bent. Like that's what I hate about these kind of USB ports. Let's see. Eh, still fits. It's just kind of bent. I'm not sure if that's just the fact that this was open. I'm curious whether or not I got to use that or not. Because now, because it's bent, I'm always going to be fiddling with trying to insert this. And if I take my time, it will. And then I'll try to see if it charges or whatever. I'll just return it, get a, a different one. Um, but pretty nice, I can, oh yeah. And then it has a little light on the end, so. Got one, super bright. And then your little pointy flashlight at the end. Highly recommend these lights. Highly recommend, highly recommend these lights. Get one where the, the thing is not broken though. So that's the light and carry. Um, I almost wanted to get all, all four of them, but not sure if the the purpose of the the 200 and 300 lumen, especially it being that close, um, I feel like I got a I got an 800 which I really like. I got this one which I really like, except for the fact that this thing it looks like it's bent. But we'll see how it performs. Um, and I can feel the magnet. Yeah, you can see the magnet 
like picking up stuff through the base right there, the base of the cardboard. Anyway, got this uh, Bonhas X Pro Torque five piece torque set. That's the part number up there. Um, it's my first Bonhas tool, I guess. I uh, got T30, T40, 45, 47, T50. And the reason why I picked these up was for the the flex. I really like the the flex on these. So we'll just pull one out, the T50. Uh, so it's a traditional like Allen key style. It's just a 90 degree hook and that's what you're limited to. Obviously they've made a ball and stuff, but this is not, this is Torx. It doesn't have a ball on it, I should say. Um, these are fairly loose, but they do have a little, a little uh, Torx or Allen head right there. Sometimes these are hard to see. Anyway, so tighten this up, I think, if, you're, if it's kind of loose on you. But you can just get in those weird, weird angles and you got a portion on that end. Comes this, this this little decent holder here, so at least they're not like loose and all over the place. But I do know they make several different um, like Allens and stuff. This is my first one. Um, we'll see how it goes if I pick up the rest of them. Cause they're they're pretty cool. Might as well get this little thing out of the way. I've been trying to find a one inch, a one eighth inch <laughs> threaded coupler for a hot minute that will fit a device I have um, that I really haven't showcased at one eighth, but it's been like, it's been so hard to come by finding the correct thread pitch and, uh, and everything else for it to align. The ones I've found came close. To, some of them have a little bit of play in there in the unit. Um, and then the rest of them are so tight. I don't want to like strip the, the threads of the actual item. I've reached out to the manufacturers and they have been dragging their legs. Um, they've responded to me, but they they were in their response. They're like, do you want to purchase anything else? And I was like, dude, I just want this threaded fit in. Like, especially since I just purchased, purchased your item recently. Anyway, got these uh, Lyle Super Out Superior Extractor. Uh, part number 62900. It's just another set of extractors. I'm not going to pull them out. That's what they look like. Um, comes into this little piece. Um, it gives you instructions on different drill sizes to use to extract a given um, broken fastener. So, extractors, you know, my take, you can't go wrong. Just a random piece of item. It's just a, um, a back support. Um, I'll be moving here shortly, so never used one of these before. And I've never really had lower back issues, but I'm not trying to get there, so we'll see if this can help me. I got some heavier boxes. Uh, and this thing right here, this I was impressed with and disappointed at the same time. Um, so this is a, it's just a V block, and I'm not gonna pull this one out because it has it just has this uh, packing grease on it to keep it from rusting. So you can see it in there. It's just, it would be messy bringing this stuff out. Uh, it was completely sealed, so that's good. And it hasn't torn through. Um, but as for my drill press, you got to see the clamp. You can clamp the stuff down right there. Um, but it's just a V-block. That's all it is. And uh, if you have a, piece, a round piece of stock, I think this is limited to two inches. Um, so like two inch stock you can just put it in there and uh you know prevent that stuff from moving while you you center drill on there or something um you obviously got to be mindful this is solid cast iron so you got to be mindful that when you're drill bit you got to be mindful of the depth that you're drilling to <laughs> so you know your steel drill bit doesn't contact here and get ruined pretty nice finish well, can't say pretty nice finish. I haven't pulled it out of the package. Um, my only complaint, I wish it was slightly uh, slightly larger and slightly longer. 
I don't know. I feel like the footage I saw online is pretty deceiving as far as the size of this, but the quality is there. Um, and see, this is a, there we go. There's that information on there. Cast iron log jig, two piece, two inch capacity. Not sure if that's a part number that can help anyone. But I might just get a second one just for the added length, but um, we'll see. Uh, that goes with that. Refocus. There we go. I opened this one already and I'm kind of disappointed. It says made in Argentina, it's a Baco, 3 8 ratchet, 7710. I thought I'd pick this up. I mean, I'm not short on ratchet, but it's a 7710 Van Extra. But I notice the head has locked up on me already. And I'm pretty sure it's unlocked. So this guy, I mean, it's, it's moving now, but see, it stopped. So if I had if I had something to put some torque on it, I wonder if it would like lock up or something. But pretty disappointed Baco item. So yeah, we'll see if we can, uh, I don't see any way to pull this apart that's like immediately obvious. So it might just be going back. It wasn't that expensive, so. But still, disappointed. Uh, 3M body repair file belt sender. Saw the picture right here. Uh, 18 inches, part number is right there. Um, doesn't really have much on there. Doesn't come with much. Comes with a manual. Comes with a sander. Um, and it obviously it's air. So I, uh, I'm new to this tool. I've never had one of these. Um, I need to tighten this thing down to lock it in place. But I'm new to this tool. Never had one of these. So. I just found out that Makita makes a battery powered one, but this is air operated, so. But, you know, people can use these for like body work in tight spaces or I've seen people do carving with them and stuff, like wood carving. Um, so they're pretty neat, especially if I have a battery one that's way more versatile, but for how much I, I'll use this when I'll need it, air shouldn't be a problem. But uh, it's a 3M branded unit. This thing is just, it just keeps flopping out because I need a, well, because I need to tighten it down. There we go. There we go. So it shouldn't be flopping out now. So I got a little trigger guard right there. Got to push it in or push back on it. Sorry. For some reason, I've always put my finger right here to push this in, which is probably a bad idea. When you can just slide your finger back. That's what it's designed to do. I don't know why I've always done that. But you live and you learn. So they say. Um, I, uh, this is my second one, I guess I should say. I, I got a, a Sonics or Astro one that kind of swivels. Um, so yeah, I might be I might be looking at the the Makita battery powered one, but I do like having an air option. It's just like this. Uh, Sonics Tools uh, Pistol Grip Needle Scaler. You've probably seen me showcase needle scalers before, and this is a SX246, by the way, but this is the first pistol grip needle scaler I've, I've owned. Uh, those are some of the specs for it. Let's see if I can clarify. There we go. It weighs about 4.15 pounds. That's the length, seven and seven eight, or 12 and 7 eighths. Three millimeter needle diameter, 19 needles in there and it delivers 4,500 blows per minute. Uh, take a look at it real quick. It's actually not even assembled. 
but it's pretty easy. So unlike the, the previous ones that kind of like have a different design as far as putting them together, this is just like an almost like an air hammer. You kind of just screwed on the threads. I won't go all the way because I'm gonna take it off anyway. And then you have these locking screws here that you tighten down to make sure it doesn't rotate on you. The needle's right there, and it's definitely um, it's definitely uh, screwed on all the way. Because I was gonna say it's definitely not a balanced tool. It's definitely a two-handed tool. Like this, it's very front-heavy. You get all this weight from all these little steel needle needles. So it's definitely a two-handed handed operation. It's very front heavy, and the, the pistol doesn't give you enough control. Um, again, an air-operated tool, because it's gonna do a lot of work for you to remove grime. Pretty decent trigger. Um, the handle is very small, very profile. Um, could be a little bit more beefier on the handles to give you a little bit more firmer grip, I guess, but it is what it is. And then this thing just screws on. So you have the straight ones. And then obviously this one is the, the angled version. So I think they, they do sort of different purposes. If I could get away with using the angled version, I will over the straight. But and so that's why I have both of them. These boxes are just getting beat up. And then lastly, last but not least, is my uh, newly acquired Wera Joker. Let's see, I believe that's 6,400. Yep, our 6,004, six not 6,400. Joker four set one, and blah, blah. A little bit of, a little bit of information about it. Self-adjusting, secure self-gripping, ratchet in action. Wera to go compatible. Um, comes in the standard Wera boxes, pretty nice. And then their standard casing for most of their tools, again, pretty nice. I like this is design of whatever they they have in case. Like if you have wrenches, it will show a wrench, and it's pretty nice um, rubber, raised rubber. I don't know what you call it. So this is a four-piece set. You can buy these as singles if you wanted to, but just went with the set. Uh, but yeah, the intent is that you put it on a bolt or something and you can, uh, it just locks onto it. Just by the opening action, you see it gets wide, wider. Um, but. Pretty nice, complete set. I believe this is uh, the sizes here. Let's go with, yeah. So here are the sizes you get. You get a uh, extra small, small, medium, and a large. And I believe they do sell an extra large as a separate item. Um, too bad it doesn't have a uh, spot in the case for the extra large. If you do acquire that, then you'll have to storage separately. But yeah, I mean, the extra small is it's pretty small. I'm not sure if you're gonna, I've always said every tool has its purpose. So whatever purpose this serves. But yeah, this is a quick tool haul on a Sunday while everyone's getting back, ready to go back to work on a Monday. I should be doing the same. Um, anyway. Uh, these are going to get packed up like everything else recently. Um, as me always say, like and don't hate the team.